Hello lovelies. Did you get hoovered over Christmas or the New Year's? If so, you're going to want to watch this video. Um, welcome to Night Free Formula. My name is Freedom. Thank you for joining me. In this video today, I will be discussing um, if you got hoovered and how to deal with it if you did. Um, okay, for those of you who don't know about me or my channel, I'll just quickly kind of catch you up to speed. So um, I was married to a narcissist for over a decade and I've been separated for a few years now, three actually. Um, anyhow, like a lot of you, um, I received a hoover over Christmas. Uh, sorry, Christmas and New Year's. So I've got some notes, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. Let's just jump straight into this. So this is basically a video for anyone who is doing no contact and who has been hoovered. Because for those of you who are you know, dealing with children and kind of contact through children, um, or you know, you still work with them or that kind of thing, you know, the, the hoover doesn't apply so much. Um, I mean, it does, but just not so much. So in this particular video, this is more for people who have gone strict no contact and have received a hoover. All right, so I've been um, no contact, say 99% no contact because I have a child with this person, 99% uh, no contact for about, well, at least the last year, I would say. So 2000, uh, sorry, 2020. Um, and I have this uh, traditional belief about New Year's that we bring in the New Year's Eve the way we want to spend the year. Now my ex knows this obviously because we were married for over a decade and of course he has embedded himself into that belief by making sure he contacts me every New Year's Eve or every new year. Sure enough he did it again um, despite the fact that I have been you know absolutely no contact with him. So, I mean, look, the, the, the short version of the text, the very long text, um, the translated version is, um, I'm high and um, you're bad and I'm sad, is essentially, that's the, the short translated version. So it doesn't matter whether they're playing the victim or they're going on the attack or they're saying that it's about the children. The reality is with narcissists and their hoovers, it's about regaining control. That's all it is, regaining control and initiating contact again. You might not hear from them for another three months, six months, nine months, a year, years, right? But it's, it's about them ensuring that they still have contact with you that you're still kind of lined up you know that you're not too far away you're not too out of reach um you know psychologically and emotionally um that you're still available to the narcissist so when you get the text message or the phone call i mean i'm just gonna go on the text message because it's a little bit tricky with the phone call i mean my personal belief is with the phone call you should just hang up on them straight away as soon as you hear their voice because nothing they're going to say um, is going to be in your favor it's not going to help you in any way it's solely and specifically like i said designed to fuel them up and reconnect you back with them and you're working so hard to get away from them so you know as soon as they call just hang up straight away all right so when you've got the text message so for me i have his number blocked I'm not changing my phone number for him because essentially I have one of those what they're called the golden numbers where you know you have one number kind of repeated um, and people literally pay hundreds of dollars sometimes even thousands of dollars for those numbers so I'm not going to give mine up um, for him for him or for anyone so he's got my number I have it saved um, to so it's blocked so essentially it doesn't you know the notifications don't come up so that would be one of the first suggestions that I would make is always make sure you have their number blocked so it will go to a f another file on your phone where if you want to go and have a look you can look and it'll be there right but it, it gives you that psychological um, distance you know you don't need to um, every time the phone dings you don't need to have that moment of oh god I hope it's not them you know you don't need that panic you don't need the stress you don't need to feel like you know when they say they want something that you have to quickly jump 
um, you know, to give it or do it or, you know, reply. And narcissists do have that sense of self-entitlement. They honestly do. So, you know, this is a classic example. Uh, didn't send any Christmas presents, didn't send his daughter a card, um, you know, hasn't, didn't send her one for her birthday, um, and now is expecting on New Year's that I'm going to want to talk to him, you know, and that he's got rights. Um, so they've got this sense of entitlement and they've trained you over the years. They've trained you, you know, every single time they want something, you know, they say, jump, you say, how high? You know, boom, 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 now. And you were trained and th this is just a hangover from those days. You know, it shouldn't matter if they contact you. It shouldn't matter if the phone goes ding. It shouldn't, you don't have to reply to anyone. You know, you don't have to pick up your phone just because it's ringing. So this is those kind of psychological um, barriers or obstacles that you need to kind of overcome. You need to reclaim that psychological space. So you do this by blocking them. So like I said, the messages will still go through to the file and you can check the file if you ever want. You don't have to, but you can. But the thing is, there's not that sense of urgency. You know, you don't feel so nervous. It's like, oh, it was six months ago that he sent that. <laughs> what did he do? You know, whereas, you know, if it happened on, say, Monday night and you got it at Monday night, 8 p.m., every single second after you read it you'd be thinking oh god if i don't reply soon he's going to reply he's going to call it's going to come around you need know, to get more and more anxious so this is all about like i said this reclaiming of this psychological headspace and reclaiming of your life okay this is not their life this is your life so um block them don't check the message if you have to read it you know um, because maybe, I don't know, you've got children, I don't know. There's sometimes reasons why we feel um, like we have to read it. I mean, in the perfect world and hopefully in the future. Um, in the future, hopefully you won't, you know. Hopefully you won't even care at all what they say about anything. Um, I kind of checked because I knew I was going to do this video, if I'm honest. Um, and just because, you know just to see whether or not he would just pull that same old stunt sure enough you know they're just creatures of habit it's worked in the past for him you know he sent a new year's eve message and me because i'm you know kind of emotional and loyal and whatever um fell for it you know i responded and there was that signal the signal of you know bringing the new year's the way you want to spend the new year's so this time he signaled to me and he didn't get a response that no response is a response loud and clear so if you get a text message from them do not respond if you want to read it read it but don't don't get hung up on what they've got to say right you don't have there's no obligation anymore you don't have to read his text messages anymore you know you are not his woman you are not his partner you are not his wife you know this man has done damage to you so you don't owe him anything you don't have to text him talk to him you don't have to hear about what he thinks what he feels you don't have to talk about what he wants to talk about and i know that can be really demanding you know i've talked to women you know in my consulting business i talk to them all the time who talk about you know they get sent one message and when they don't respond another one comes through and then another one and another one and another one this is why you block them and if for whatever reason you don't have that function on your phone what you need to do then is replace your phone or um, continue like I said continue to block delete change your number get a new sim card every single time they get through to you um, you know you've got to stop them having an avenue a foot in the door you've got to stop that and we do it by blocking oh my god it's so hot sorry just quickly so hot at the moment here i literally just sweating unbelievable christmas christmas in australia in summer it's hot all right um sorry back to what i was saying before i got distracted um you know no there's no obligation you don't owe them anything and when it comes to children if you guys have children i'm going to link a video here about 
um, grey rock parenting because a lot of people think they're talking about the children and this is a narc trick so they they send a text message saying you know I don't know you didn't tell me that little Johnny was going to be at the soccer on Saturday it starts off like that and then it goes into I'm so disappointed by the fact that you can't even communicate these things with me you know you, you let me down you do all these things and I've been so good to you and blah blah blah, blah, blah and on and on it goes right you have to be able to learn to differentiate what is um, about little Johnny and what is actually just a veiled, thinly veiled, mind you, um, attack on you. You know, it's a put down. If, it, if they're, you don't need to, like I said, live up to their expectations or standards. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they say? Who cares what they want? Who cares if they feel let down? You know, if they, um, you know, if you have done something in their eyes that's wrong, who cares? seriously who cares you know the narcissist we want them out of their our reality we don't want them in our lives so we don't want to make them feel comfortable or welcome so leave time if you're gonna respond about anything and I really recommend that you don't but if you do leave time between the original text message and your reply give yourself time to be centered so that you're not reacting so that you're actually thinking about what message you want to send and ask yourself, A, have I already said this before? Am I just repeating myself? Because often, you know, we end up having to repeat ourselves over and over again. But the reality is the narcissists don't care because they're not listening to what we're saying anyhow. It's still just about the fact that they got us to respond, even though we didn't want to, even though we said we were no contact. You know, if we respond to them in their little minds, it's like, oh wow, I managed to get her to do what I wanted. You know, I got her jumping. I am in control again. So, we have to stop this. Right? We don't want to be under their control. All right, let me just quickly read through my notes. So, going back to the, with the kids' business, um, the only the only thing that the narcissist should be contacting you about the children is to if they have if he has um, access is to be telling you exactly what happened you know if the child has an appointment or something you need to know about I mean the details right we don't need the narrative we don't need the story we don't need to know how he feels about it we just need the basics right, so when you read the text messages that's all you need to look for is the information right the facts not the blah 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 and the wah 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 you know who cares? Who cares how they feel? And once you start to actually get that, um, you know, that vibe and that energy about you, where you actually start to think, well, yeah, who does care? I'm telling you, darling, you're going to feel so much better. There'll be none of this, like I said, this nervousness and this unease every time the phone rings or the phone texts, you know, you're going to have boundaries in place. And this is part of the boundaries, is knowing how to respond to hoovers realizing that it is just a hoover this is just the narcissist way of embedding themselves into your new year's eve you know you had a new year's eve and they went and embedded themselves by sending you a text message and then you spent two hours feeling like crap because you had to decode and figure out what they actually meant i mean that was the whole purpose you know for them it's just to like i said it's about control and contact re-initiating contact and in their mind that's just a win you know if you reply it's a win so don't reply and if you do leave it for a long time if you're going to repeat yourself because you've already told them over and over just don't bother don't bother because they're not listening right if if all you're having to do if every time you contact them if you're just saying i told you before i don't want to talk to you stop contacting me right there comes a point where you have to stop actually saying that there comes a point where you have to be the one to realize they're never going to stop right they're never going to stop because this is what they want. Your attention, your energy, the connection between the two of you. Okay? This is why we go no contact because this is how they drain us. You know, they drain us by pretending it's one thing but it's actually another. So we're over here, you know, trying to deal with this thing that we imagine we're dealing with. But it's not even real. Like I said, he doesn't care about little Johnny's soccer appointment or, you know, about whatever it is he said it was about he doesn't care at all he just wants you to start talking to him 
so then he can say like he'll create this creates a little precedence so when you do respond you need to remember this right you might have gone no contact for six months 12 months right but as soon as you respond and and essentially break no contact with him the narcissist in their mind will make a little note and it, and the note might be well you know it took a hundred texts you know or I had to call 67 times but then she picked up the phone right so now they know that set the precedence now they know it's going to take 100 texts or 67 calls before you'll actually answer the phone but now they know you know so just remember this okay the only way out of this craziness this absolute madness that is associated with narcissists is no contact okay and no contact means no contact I mean I was just thinking for myself you know in the future there's gonna have to come a time where I don't even bother to check the blocked texts because the reality is there's nothing that he or they you know have to say that is of any value any importance you know he's had his time he had his chance and that time and that chance is now gone so yeah Anyhow, as like I said, I'm going to link a video um, about doing the no contact with the children. All right, darlings, get not free and stay not free. Thanks for watching. And also, Happy New Year, guys. Um, yeah, Happy New Year. Bye.